Hey guys, in all of videos, you can see me uh, and hear me talking about priority. This is the game where I show you what it means to use priority. See you on the table. And welcome to the table. So in this game, we'll be focusing uh, on a stuff that I will show you in the second eras. So here we are having Tarnasus and we are in a decent position to claim the green. Uh, that's my initial impression. We're choosing B here because we want to win. And the first hand is very interesting. Uh, there is possibility for excavation. Uh, there is possibility for apothecary to to, um, to signal for green and to maybe start go going full green. But I think that would be premature. There is a marketplace that's that has a potential to be decent, but it has a potential to be average as well. And that's why I decided to go for excavation. Both my neighbors really care about stone, so they're likely to pay me for it. I'm not a fan of altar in five-player games, because there are two altars, but only one, Pantheon. Uh, so second hand and another decision, uh, we can start going into guard tower uh, to suggest that we want to claim red. We are two from Rodos, that's always a good place to play red. But um, there is also a trading post to Giza, which is normally pretty decent. And there is an, another altar and there is another glassworks. Uh, these are within the realm of possibility. Uh, there is also a possibility of throwing scriptorium, a lot of stuff that you can do. I decided just to go for red. I thought that this can turn into green, this can turn into green. So I didn't want to be stuck. Uh, in the middle of that, and this looks like it's turning green. So I was happy about my prediction. Uh, here, pretty interesting, there is Orvain that will let us play a red, there is Lumberyard, which is pretty good, and let, let us play Caravanserai. There is like a safe tavern, but I'm not a fan of it here. I decided to go Lumberyard, and I think I made a mistake. I think it should have been on Orvain. Uh, but I'm not or if I remember correctly. No, uh, we get Stokade here, but we get a Press, and Press is one of the most crucial cards for us in the first era. I would say it's more important for us than a duel, than any duel. I think this is well, like one of the most cards, and I just had to grab it, but I was very unhappy, because then we are passing uh, reds to him, and it just looks very unpleasant. Um, so here... Between buffs, theater, and tavern, I think I just choose buffs um, because it's just a little better than theater, and tavern doesn't excite me at the moment that much. Like we are mm, getting our money from the resources. And the last card is very interesting as well. Uh, Apothecary will let us stable stables. <laughs> sorry, uh, stable stables, I guess. Uh, and claypool will. Um, Probably give us money, and um, it also lets us get the first stage. And it lets us get the forum as well. So all pretty important cards. A very hard choice, I decided to go for Claypool. I thought that I will not be playing green this time. And as you can see, he completes the green. Uh, we win red to our left and lose uh, and draw to our right. And the first hand looks very unappealing. Uh, but there is a good card here, of course, uh, if I take give you a couple of seconds, you are uh, very likely to find it. Uh, Foundry is good, it fixes a lot of our problems with our resources. Of course, we are sad to see training ground go, but it's okay. We're also very sad to see red go. And this is the hand uh, where, where I start using my priority, as you can see uh, in the description and in the title, probably. And so. Obviously, um, if I tell you that I start using my priority, you will realize that it's probably green or red. And this time it's green. Um, I thought that um, it's very risky to get into a red war age 2 uh, because I still feel un unprepared. Like, um, I just passed the uh, archer, uh, sorry, the training grounds. Archery range is uh, pretty expensive for me. Um, there is uh, stables, but Maybe it will get snatched by someone, probably. Usually they don't make it to, to me, and then there is walls that we cannot pick, so we are just like, what are we trying to do? We'll just probably play Archery Ranch, and that would be it. 
and that doesn't look that smart if you want to win this game and if you want to win this game it's very important to stop this guy like he got three sets usually when people see three sets they kind of concede immediately but in five player uh, against alexandria alexandria is not a wonder that's very good and playing green so if if it can build these two stages easily then the stage becomes good but it rarely becomes the case, so it's just it lives or dies on the, on the green spread in games like this, and um, usually it has to like splash or do something else because it's just not that great. And like, of course, you can go full green, but it's just not stable. And here, uh, if I take a laboratory, there is a mm, there is a like gamble here. If he takes the archer range, then it might turn really ugly for us. But if he goes courthouse, and he should be scared about our red because we can pick from the discard, then we are kind of in a very good position. And I decided to do just that. And as you can see, this is hand 2, h2, and I'm picking my first green card. And, of course, if I say A, I should say B with the library. It costs me some. Uh, by the way, when I pick laboratory, I have to like you have to check uh, how the green uh, uh, goes, like how how possible it is for us to play it. School is free. Um, library uh, costs two. He just played laboratory. Dispensary is not coming back to us. Uh, I think maybe one is coming back to us, and it costs us two. So we can actually play for green. Like with this setup, we are actually prepared play for green a little bit also the laboratory laboratory being at the start of this is very important because we know that we have one compass in the discard and uh, it lets us play for the red and pairs them a little bit more so here the dispensary is playable but of course it's not so i'm just choosing courthouse i was actually thinking about glassworks but i thought eh, not good enough and he didn't play for red which was very happy for me all now is, is getting to us. All these players, when they see that I started going for green, they can safely pass me these, these green cards because they know I will snatch them. Like, this is just advantages for them as well. So this is like symbiosis again. And the last card is just a build, but it's important what we see in the discard pile. So he plays more red, which is fine. We don't see any red, that's disappointing, but we see also a scriptorium. And this is pretty important. We of course choose the, the apothecary because it's just better for us. And here the start of age. Uh, three, nothing that game breaking, but we have traders, which is pretty good. It should give us, at the moment it gives us five, but it could give us at least seven, I think. And with that pickup probably eight. And uh, this hand, um, of course, this is awkward decorators, as Halicarnassus usually you don't finish your wonder, so this is pretty awkward. Uh, but we can play for Academy or Study. I decided to choose Academy just because there are more cogs in the pool in five players. You always have to make sure um, which color you are picking, because it actually matters here. There are two studies and only one Academy, and that's why I'm picking Academy. Uh, here we just can, can get a cog for us. And I thought this will be it. This will be like a green splash and I'll just stop at that. But here comes the scientist. And I'd say, why not? Because it's it's just the best card for us. So I, I can pick the sign. He's starting to play for red. He still has to be scared about our second stage. So he, he probably needs to play at least one more. So I can just lodge. It's just you know seven pointer here. That sounds good. Um, and suddenly, um, if I pick a lodge, if I have scientist, and you remember there was a scriptorium in the discard pile, I can just you know do three sets very casually. And I do just that. Uh, there is also a university, but I, I pick university. But it, of course, doesn't matter at all. And in the end, uh, you know, we have three sets. We have those uh, 38 points from nine cards. 
which is very, very and of course. Um, we, we have a good guild. I think we won like by, by five points from Rodos, who was very efficient with winning red. I think he won both with uh, three cards. And they played like cards, so that, that's pretty good. He also got Palace, decent guild, and not too much uh, resources invested. X cards, that's the perfect amount. And combined Haven, uh, just, just a nice, uh, precise place from Rodos, I would say. Uh, so very respectable score, but of course we, we trumped that with uh, a winning um, red very cheaply in age one and two with guard tower, uh, decent pickups here, and nine uh, green cards. But what's important here, we started age two, hand two. Uh, so from age two, hand two, we have 11 picks, I think. Yeah, 11, so nine of them were green cards. Uh, one of them were, was Courthouse, and one of them was Raiders Guild. That's how efficient we were with that. But I think even with two sets and splashing something else, this would have been fine. Uh, we also made sure that his game is not like... If we passed him all those green cards, it would have been over for anyone. This would just be the best. We could have maybe capitalized on the Philosophers, but you never know uh, if it will come or not. So that would be it for this game. And there you have it, guys. Tell me in the comments what do you think about it. Throw a like if you enjoyed the content. Throw a sub if you love the content. And see you next time. Bye.